Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Dalen Alexis and I am back with another video. So I know it's been a while since I posted, so I just want to give y'all a little update um, since I've been in nursing school. So I actually did have a couple of videos posted um, since I've been in nursing school. I recorded orientation and then I recorded like a day in my life as a nursing student um and I like I showed you guys me doing the skills lab like um I think this is when we were practicing doing vital signs so I showed all of that and then orientation video um I just showed y'all like what do, what do you kind of, what do what do you expect during nursing school and yeah so um somehow some way my video ended up being escalated and I was told to remove the videos per the policy. So, yeah, I had to take the videos down. Um, and that was very discouraging because this is something that I enjoy. Um, YouTube is something that I enjoy. And just being able to post my nursing journey, like, it just makes nursing school fun. Because this is not fun at all. But, yeah, I had to take the videos down. Um, so, yeah. I did have other videos posted if y'all um subscribe to me off of seeing my supply haul. I did have videos, but I had to take them down. So yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, it was discouraging. Um, because YouTube is something that I enjoy and I found find very fun to do, just being able to record. And I just kind of didn't even want to pick the camera back up because I just feel like I was being watched or like anything I do was going to be like under a microscope and they were going to try to find anything wrong with it to say I needed to take it down. So I just decided to not post them. Maybe next semester um, I can try again, figure out something else, you know, another way to incorporate those type of videos. But as of now, I put those on the back burner. So, yeah, with all that being said. So, now that we are in our last month of the first semester, I want to talk about things that I've learned while being in nursing school or 10 things I wish I knew before starting nursing school. Okay, guys. So, the first topic I have is nursing school is hard as, like... I knew nursing school was going to be hard, but you don't actually know how hard it is until you are actually in it. Like, I don't think there's anything that could have prepared me for how hard this program was going to be. Um, so, with that being said, I say know your support system while you're in nursing school. Um, eliminate any stressors that you have in your life. Um because when you get in nursing school, it's just going to become even more stressful. So, know your support system. Know those um, around you that can understand that you are in nursing school. And that you're not going to be able to attend every event. And, you know, you're not going to be able to attend every event or do certain things like you used to be. Your time is going to be very limited. So, just know your friends. Um... Know your family. Make sure your family knows that, you know, you're going to be busy. You, you won't have time to do everything like you used to do. Um, so, yeah, number one, nurse school is super hard. Like I said, you, will, you truly won't know how hard the program is until you actually get into the program. And I'm in a accelerated nursing program. So, it's twice as hard as, like, just doing a traditional, like, I take 21 credit hours, like exams every other, really, I have two exams a week, like it's going to be hard and just remember the end goal, um, just remember that it's all going to be worth it in the end, you just have to stay focused and um, make sure you have this support around you because you're definitely going to need it. Um, in the beginning, um, it was very hard for me to adjust to um, adjust to nursing school because it wasn't like anything I've done before. Like, I feel like I was going through imposter syndrome. Like, do I really deserve to be here right now? Like, I just, 
yeah that'll go back that'll go into another list i have down but yes number one know your support system my mom has been like the love her down my mom so my mom is a nurse and she's been so helpful like with encouraging me helping me study school work all of that so if you have somebody in your life like that make sure you keep them around because you're going to need them while you're in nursing school um number two so as with anything that has a large group of women um nursing school can be catty like it's like nothing I've ever seen before, to be honest. Um, nursing school can be very catty. So I say find you a group of people and stick with those people. Um, I know we're not in nursing school to make friends, but if you can find friends, stick with them. Um, and don't get caught up in what other people are doing or who passed what test or who did this and that. You got to have tunnel vision. Um the end goal is always going to be the main topic here. It's always what it's going to circle back to is that end goal. So me personally, I have two girls that um, I hang out with. I would actually call them my friends just outside of nursing school because we click like this at nursing um, at the orientation. So, yeah, know your friends and stick beside them. Um, I say if you do know this drama is going around, don't get involved in it like because it's not going to serve you at all. Um, so, yeah, I don't really have too much to say about that. Just know that nursing school is going to be catty, but find you some people that, you know, you. If, I say if you can't see yourself hanging out with them outside of nursing school, are they really your friends? Do you really need to be hanging out with them? So, yeah, the two girls I hang out with them, hang out with at school, I would hang out with them outside of school. So, yeah. Um, number three, um, utilize every study resource possible. So, when I first started nursing school, um, I wasn't using all of my resources. Like, so the first couple weeks, um, I was oblivious to like YouTube, like to going to YouTube and looking up nursing videos. Like, I don't know, it just never dawned on me to do that. I would see a video every now and then on TikTok, but never just decided to like, oh, let me look up a pharmacology, pharmacology video on Beta Agnes. Like, that never would have crossed my mind. So, utilize every resource possible. We are in the new age of technology. There are a million and one videos on YouTube about every single nursing school topic possible. So utilize those resources. I say YouTube and TikTok if you just need like a quick reference. Well, YouTube if you want something like broken down, like long, long form. Yeah, I cannot talk. Use TikTok if you want short form content. Like if you just want to be able to glance at this video real quick and have it broken down in 60 seconds. Use YouTube if you want long form type of content that's gonna go more into deep deep detail and then also um so the study resources that i like to use um number one is simple nursing um simple nursing he does have a youtube channel with videos on there but they're like the shorter forms if you pay for his website um pay for his membership to his simple nursing website um you get access to every video topic possible and it's multiple videos and i feel like that has been a lifesaver for me personally i'm a visual learner and so in his videos a lot of his stuff is like um he has pictures to go with it and mnemonics for you to help remember and things like that that kind of stuff is what helps me out i've also heard of a website called Pixarize. Um, I heard that that's a good website if you're a visual learner. And then um, other resources that I've heard of um, are is like uh, Level Up or in Nexus Nursing and Registered Nursing. I think that's her name. Um, 
I've looked at a couple of registered nursing and a couple of level up RN videos, but I feel like simple nursing is, is what I like the most. So yeah, I say if you can afford it, get you a simple nursing membership. You can pay a uh, month to month or you can pay like, I think you like 120 some dollars for like a certain amount of time. I'm not sh sure on the details of it, but yeah. If you can get you a simple nursing membership so something else that has really been a good study resource for me during nursing school is this um ultimate nursing school study guide by nurse sugar um i'm sure a lot of y'all have seen this book on tiktok or you or you've seen nurse sugar book on tiktok and this has been truly helpful as y'all can see i have like some of the main topics like bookmark like and yeah this is just a really it it has it's like a holy grail like this is i say it's like the bible for nursing school because it literally has everything in here like we're getting ready to do our comprehensive health exam like the head to toe assessment we have to do it on somebody and it has like all of this broken down in here like it tells you what to say um, I guess I'll go over some of these tabs. So we got fundamentals, EKG, um, everything, pharmacology, like NSAIDs, and um, antihistamines, acetaminophen, opioids. We got dosage calculation stuff, um, IV fluids, maternity, peds, med surge, mental health, um, everything under mental health like trauma disorders defense mechanisms anxiety and ocd personality disorders like this book has everything so in the beginning like i said i wasn't utilizing all my study resources i bought this book like in june it came in like july and then I set it off to the side and I forgot about it. And my mom, I was like struggling in class one day and my mom was like, um, have you been using that book you bought? And I was like, oh, you right, I did buy a book. And so this book has been very helpful. If you can get this book um, when she restocks or if they're available now, I'm not sure, go get you one. I'll be sure to put her TikTok name on the screen because this book was worth every bit of $100. So, number four is going to be learn your study method. Yeah, I'm looking down because I got a list on my phone. But learn your study, study, ooh, learn your study method. So, I say take bits and pieces from other people and figure out what works for you. So, I'm going to keep having a reference back to the beginning because that's, that was probably the worst, like, the worst of the worst was the beginning. Um, in the beginning, I was trying to utilize my methods that I have from, like, my previous undergrad, like, not really having to study. I'm not used to studying, like, with my um, previous undergrad in my first degree, like, I didn't have to study for this stuff. Like, it just was kind of like common sense. But with nursing school, this stuff is not going to be common sense. Like, a lot of this stuff is going to be brand new. So, you need to be able to study. And that was hard for me in the beginning. Um, Honestly, I don't even know. I can't remember what I was... I think... So, in the beginning, I was trying to take notes on my iPad. And I figured out that that kind of doesn't work for me. Um, It's just too, too time consuming. And... I know I'm like kind of a perfectionist so like I can't take writing and it look like jibber jabber like I can't do it like I know there's ways that you can write neater and this that and the third on an iPad but it's too time consuming especially when you take 21 credit hours like I do so um I kind of talked with some other girls in my class or some I talked with another girl that's in my clinical group who's been doing really good on all the exams and I'm like hey do you have some study tips you could share? And she was telling me that like she uses the objectives from um so in each module, you know, they normally post like your learning outcomes or the objectives you should learn from this particular module. And she was saying she takes those um outcomes and kind of formulates a study guide based off of that. And so I was like, oh yeah, that sounds pretty smart. Um, another thing that I wasn't doing, um, so you're going to have a lot of readings to do. And me personally, 
I'm not sitting down and reading all this stuff, but that was something that I had to change. Um, so now I'll try to read. I do my try to do my readings before class and I take notes while I'm doing the readings. And that helps me in class. Um, so that way when I get to class, I'm not just I'm not learning everything brand new. It's kind of like a recall of information I've already learned, which I think that's kind of I think most nursing programs are like that, like they want you to read before class, but I uh, honestly who's doing it. Thank you, exactly. But reading is very fundamental for nursing school. In some classes, you could probably get away with not having to read. But, like, for me, with my health assessment class, like, all her stuff is, like, textbook material. So, reading in her class is, like, a must. And taking notes before class is a must. I've also found for my studying, um, I prefer to study alone. Um, I don't know... And I like to quiz my mom or I'll have my mom quiz me. Um, so what I mean by I quiz her. So let's say I have some practice questions. Um, I have her try to answer the questions. And then if she gets them wrong, I can explain to her why it's the wrong answer and why the right answer is the right answer. So that kind of helps me and it um, just helps me be able to talk through the stuff. Because I know one day... Um, I was getting ready for an exam and I was like, Mom, I need to help I need help studying, blah blah. So okay, what you need help with? And so I just started talking to her about stuff and it was like, Oh, I do know this information. I just need to talk about it out loud versus sitting at my desk and just like constantly reading over and over again. So if being in a study group does work for you, I say go for it. I haven't tried a study group yet just because I feel like it may rear off topic a little too much. It's going to be a lot of talking about outside topics versus what we're actually here for to, to talk about. But I, I feel like that may be an issue when you're with a large group of people. But I don't know. I can't really say too much about it because i don't have any experience doing um study groups i know a lot of people do like study groups but me personally i'm not a group work type of person i prefer to work alone do my stuff by myself yeah so number five learn to take the losses in stride you got to learn how to take them losses because you are not going to pass everything and i had to learn it the hard way so once again in the beginning when i was on the struggle bus um i was feeling stuff i ain't even gonna lie to y'all um i won't say well first first and foremost the grading scale in nursing school is completely different from your typical, usual grading scale. So, in my school, anything less than a 75 is considered a fail. So, I'm making 70s, 72s, and I'm like, this is like, this was like a rude awakening for me because, like I said, in my previous degree, I didn't have to study. I was on the dean's list. I graduated cum laude, like with a 3.4 gpa like so me failing stuff was just like whoa like and that's when the imposter syndrome kicked in because it's like i am failing stuff who nurse am i gonna be but it's just like you gotta learn how to take those losses and figure out what are you gonna do to to do better the next time and so yeah i don't really think i need to say much more on that um if you know your study habit, well, if you have good study habits, um, you know, you'll be able to figure out what you did wrong, I guess, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? If y'all get what I'm saying. Um, but anyways, yeah, just learn how to take those losses. Um, you can't, I mean, you can pass everything, but just don't let it discourage you. Remember the end goal just remember that okay i messed up this time but next time i'm gonna do twice as better i'm gonna go 10 times as hard with studying and i'm gonna do better and i can say that that was literally me today like today we had our second farm exam the first farm exam i bombed it and not even just like 72 bomb like no 68 bomb i'm being completely transparent which i made a 68 and i was like 
I wanted to cry because my teacher, she when she um they set up remediation, she was like asking me if I still think I can pass the class, like um, blah blah blah, all of that. And I just had to tell myself, I'm like, I am going to pass this class. So I studied really hard for our exam today and I passed it and I was very happy about that. Um so yeah, passed the farm exam just because I um took my first loss and i stride okay all right next one i think this is number six um practice taking tests before you even get into the per into the program because nursing um tests are completely different from any type of test um so a lot of nursing questions it's not gonna be there's four wrong or there's three wrong answers and um one right answer is literally every answer may be right but which one is the most right which one is a priority like before anything else so i say practice um taking tests even if you don't know the material maybe just try to familiarize yourself with the way the questions are formatted or you know of that nature um yeah i don't really think there's too much to say about that um also i say familiar familiarize yourself with dosage calculations so i know in some schools you have to make like a hundred on the dosage calc um luckily at my school we didn't have that it was like i think you had to make like an 85 and above and you passed so yeah but um i was so nervous about dosage calc because strong is i mean lord math is not my strong suit um i've always struggled in math even since i was a little girl so i was so nervous about dosage calc but i made sure i took that time out to really sit down and learn dosage calc i used this book um the bible to help me with it and yeah that really helped me um so i don't think we don't have we won't have any more dosage calc stuff until next semester but um yeah try to familiarize yourself with dosage calc try to familiar side familiarize yourself with conversions because in a dosage calc exam you don't you don't have a conversion table you need to know what is this converted to or how to convert it so yeah just for uh practice tests take them number seven um if you have to work it'll be beneficial to try to work in the healthcare field so um and this also kind of goes with number eight um so i'll put this number eight is before starting nursing school get your foot in the door to see if you really like um see if you really like nursing so me personally um i'm already a cna work i work in a hospital on the med surge floor and so a lot of stuff that we've seen not that we've seen but that we've talked about in nursing school i've seen before or it's kind of like i've seen it but now i can put together the path though behind it you know things like that so i think just having that experience and being able to see um to work in a hospital like not even just with clinical but being an actual worker in a hospital like as a cna um it's helped me a lot while being in this program program because i know a lot of people um don't really have a uh, nursing or not nursing but healthcare experience um when starting the nursing program so like um with my nursing uh with my clinical group i've been able to kind of help a lot of the women in my clinical group just because i have that experience so if they need help cleaning up a patient i'm more than happy to help them or show them something different that i may have learned in the hospital you know things like that so um having that type of experience is good and i also say if you can try to become like a pca or a cna to see if you even really like nursing because i think some people become so fantasized with the aesthetic of nursing um wearing us wearing the cute scrubs and the stanley cup and the bog bag they become obsessed with that aesthetic and don't realize that even as a nurse you still have to do cna work like there won't always be a cna to help you clean up your patient or change linen or empty trash this that, and the third so having that experience will definitely help you and i just feel like it'll help you become a better nurse in the long run so yeah that's my take on um 
having health care and also um try to get if you do work in healthcare, um try to work somewhere that'll let you be prn which is as needed so i'm prn at my job i work every other sunday um and that's really just to keep me in the system so that way when i do graduate i'll already be locked in with a hospital and i can just roll over into a position versus having to come in as a whole new hire so yeah try to find um have a job that'll um cut you some leeway or some slack or if you don't have to work at all perfect beautiful three um not lastly i got one well two more so number nine um is have a mentor so i say have somebody that's a nurse or like a senior nursing student um somebody that can kind of uplift you while going through our nursing school somebody that's actually been through nursing school and know how it is and can also just keep you up on game or you know yeah I don't really think that's that's kind of self-explanatory about having that mentor um or try to befriend a nurse um i'm very grateful that my mom is a nurse so i have heard about those ideas off of but um if you don't have anybody in your family that's a nurse try to find one i'm not sure how you would go about doing that but yeah try to find you a nurse or like i said a senior nursing student um i know my program i think they sent it out like i don't know when but like if you wanted a mentor it was available um, i didn't sign up for it but they did have that option available so if your school is anything like mine if they offer a mentor take it and then lastly is going to be self-care Self-care is going to be very important while you're in nursing school because nursing school is going to be hard. Like, you're literally going to feel like you're losing yourself. Like, I keep, I still reminisce on pictures of what I look like from the summer compared to now. Because in the summer, I kept my hair dead, lashes dead, nails dead. The whole night was just giving bad bitch overall. But now, I'm in this program can't wear my lashes can't have my nails like i'm in between hairstyles like it's just yeah you feel like you're gonna kind of lose yourself so self-care is important um fridays are kind of my chill day really the whole weekend to be honest but fridays mainly are like my chill days um i make fridays my days where i don't do any school work i go outside to my patio i smoke my hookah i catch up on tv shows that i haven't been able to watch like that's self-care for me actually after i finish this video i'm probably gonna go smoke some hookah now but yeah that's my self-care um make sure you take care of yourself during this program because it's gonna be hard it's gonna be strenuous it's gonna test your mental to every possible aspect possible but as always just make sure you remember the end goal i know i get on tiktok and when i'm taking like a study break and i um a lot of my my whole like for you page now is basically like nursing stuff and so i'll come across the video like it'll be like you you struggled this hard to nursing school to live like this and then it'll be like a bunch of clips of like the nurse like traveling and in her luxury car and luxury apartment and this that and the third and i just try to remember like by the time this time rolled around next year by the time no november is here of 2024 that will be me i will be a registered nurse like don't play out traveling like yeah so that's pretty much all i have to say um about nursing school that's what my experience has been thus far i am so glad it's gonna be over and y'all when they say nursing school um goes by fast they are not lying it feels like it literally was we were just at orientation and now we only have like a couple weeks left before we're on christmas break for a, we get a, a month out so yeah um that's pretty much all i have for this video if y'all learn anything um like the video i guess <laughs> 
or if you're in nursing school now and you've learned anything um comment down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button i'll see y'all in the next one bye